And what have you got that lot? Those three. Yeah, pound. Lovely. Oh, Nick, can you pay for these as well? Yeah, far? I guess so. Those. Do you know how much they are? I don't. Oh, right, these as well then. We'll find out. Well, if you're out. going to buy several bits, I'll do your job lot. Yeah. Well, How's that? So I can take those, those there, off for you. We will carry on rummaging. Okay, okay then. Okay. Fair do. No doubt. Look. I'm pretty sure that if this is not really worth messing around with, I'm probably going to keep this. <laughs> Good morning. We have um, arrived at a jumble sale and I've just nipped around the corner because um, it's quite busy in the queue and I've left Nick queuing. So I've just nipped around the corner to say good morning. And um, yes, we have come to a jumble. We're going to see what we can find today. Hopefully going to another jumble afterwards. We'll see how that goes. Got my hood up because um, it's been raining on and off. So that's fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, come with us, see what goodies we can find, and uh, let's get treasure hunting. Oh, I've got this in my hand, I haven't paid for it yet. Okay. I'm going to grab this. Grab this mug. Okay. Or this one. Oh, I think it's missing the lid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're loading me up with mugs. I am, that's quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> and what have you got that lot? Those three. Yeah, pound. Lovely. There you go, Thank mate. You much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank We've been binding goods and drabs. We probably done it the wrong way. There we go. Not to worry. With a Millennium Falcon on. <laughs> Are you a Star Wars Teddy? BBC TV. Oh, do you remember him? He rings a bell. Is that Dale Winter? Is that a young Dale Winter? No. Is it? Scrabble. What's it called? One to win. One to win. I don't think it was a huge success. I don't remember it. I'd say. Penguin pile up. Facial facial sauna. Facial sauna. Right, let's have another look here then, before we go, just... Oh, this one for you, Nick. What? Hello-ish, yeah. Well, that was all a bit hectic. 
after I um, was talking to you guys, they came around the corner and the queue had gone. Nick had gone. Everybody had gone in. It wasn't even time for it to start yet and they'd all gone in. Um, so, yeah, they'd let them in about five minutes or so early. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, <laughs> all right then. Um, joined Nick. There was hardly anything in there, really. We picked up a few bits, which I'll show you later. Nick's just got back in. I stopped filming because there was a few people just stood by the car. <laughs> I felt a bit conspicuous. Um, we did bump into a lovely lady that we've seen at a few different jumble sales and we met um, a couple, Barbara and Adam, and um, picked up a few bits, which we'll show you later. But yeah, it's a good job we're heading somewhere else which is nearby because otherwise but as, <laughs> we'd as have we driven about nearly an hour to get here and um, come as, away with a handful of things. As we said to the guys we, we bumped into here, you have to put yourself out there to find out. You do. Right? The, yeah. There may have been uh, who knows what here. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you've got to try. Anyway. We think we're probably going to go and walk Jeff because he is in the car somewhere in his bed. Oh no, no. He's behind you. <laughs> He's behind me. <laughs> He's behind you. And um, yeah, we're going to go and walk him and find something to eat as well. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like. All buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. We want to chase the night. We have arrived at the next sale actually made it this time you didn't injure yourself this week oh got a spider in your hair a spider in my hair <laughs> yeah. oh yeah yeah um yeah we're a bit windswept because we've just taken jeff for a walk and we're very near caster which we didn't realize so we actually ended up finding a tesco's near caster didn't we and um popped in to get a sandwich so we're fed and watered Jeff's watered and walked and now we realise we're very early for the next sale so we're just going to sit here and have a snooze for a, nap you know, time for 10 minutes or so and um, wait for the first people to come and queue to turn up and then we'll start queuing <laughs>
got a little pile here. So yep. I've got. Uh, one, you did bring the dog in. No, I didn't know we could. Yeah, you could have done. Okay, I might go and grab him in a minute then. One, two, three, four. No, I was going to take the um, tablecloth and napkins okay. as well. Okay, Yep. Thank you. We did rather better at that one. We filled the boot. <laughs> so you've um, hit, well, I was going to say hit the jackpot, but you, um, well, you certainly bought quite a large lot of... Of items. I quickly looked them up and there seems to be a market. It's uh, a collection. Oh, that's oh, bleached no, out. It's bleached out completely. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to turn you around. Yeah, so this is the collection of birds. Um, it was 20 for all of those. Yeah. Uh, massive lot. What was the silence you bought? Um, I don't know. But I <laughs> I just grabbed it because <laughs> I liked it. What, what was it in the end? Gwindly. So I bought two the same as that. Yeah, so I've got another one lurking in here. I bought myself a pair of trousers to try. And then I bought two identical platters as well, which just looked interesting. Welford on Avon. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. I thought I would give them a go because the prices were cheap as they normally are at a jumble. And I also got a few bits of linen as well. A couple of tablecloths and table runners. What else did you get? Um, a camcorder. Um, looks like it's got spare batteries. There's a load of tapes. in there, three sealed ones. A couple of Harry Potters, I think that now makes up a set so I can get rid of those as a complete set. And a load of sealed CDRs, um, which do still sell. Yeah, oh, and I got a, a knitting bag as well. So much more successful than the first sale. Quite pleased with that, aren't we? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Now, a couple of days later, we've had family staying all over the weekend, so this is the first chance I'm getting to just quickly show you what I actually did pick up at the Jumble Sales. Um, not a great deal, which is probably a good thing because I've still got a lot to get through, um, but I got a few bits, so I'll show you. So yeah, I had quite the surprise when I finished talking to you guys, walked around the corner, everyone was gone. It wasn't even the time for us to go in yet. And Nick had gone in and <laughs> by the time I found him, he had already found this Silvac posy ring, I suppose. What else would you call that other than a posy ring? Um, a flower ring? I've sold a few of these before anyway, 
not particularly the Silvac ones, but these rings. And I always go for posy ring, flower ring, um, use flower arranging as um, keywords. But I was just wondering if there was anything else that I'm missing that any of you might call this. I suppose vase as well, you would call it a vase. Anyway, by the by, <laughs> he found this and it is Silvac. Um, it has a number on the bottom and it is marked Silvac. So that's rather nice. I really love this colour. It's absolutely beautiful. So there wasn't a huge amount there, uh, but I made a beeline for the mugs, as I do, and found this gorgeous pottery mug, which has a maker's mark on the bottom. Now, I haven't had time to do any research on any of this, so I can't tell you at the moment who made this, but how pretty is that? I'm pretty sure that if this is not really worth messing around with, I'm probably going to keep <laughs> and then I found a Danoon mug and I always pick up Danoon mugs when I see them and this is kind of in the style of Macintosh and very art deco so I thought this would be a good little seller so I grabbed that that's not a keeper we saw this little set of um, wooden coasters they do need a little bit of a clean I'm hoping that they will clean up and they're not going to be horribly stained. They're beautiful on the other side though, to be honest. That's what they looked like. That's what they look like having been used a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I would give them a go, give, it, give them a good wash, um, oil them up and see what happens. And hopefully I'll get them back to a much better condition. But it was worth grabbing anyway, because jumbles are always cheap. So, you know, Thought we'd give that a go. Um, and then picked up this little vase and don't know anything about it really, but I saw the stamp on the bottom and there was a matching pot as well, like a little dressing table pot. So I thought they would go quite nicely as a pair. So I grabbed those. And then I looked at the linens and I saw these crocheted blankets. They're quite small this one and this one's really pretty look at that so pretty so yeah not huge hmm, they smell quite nice they've been washed <laughs> but I thought like with keywords for camper van with um, camping season coming up now um, people might buy these for their sort of vintage campers um, they just make nice seat covers, don't they, if anything? Or would make a nice blanket for a child, I think. So, yes, grabbed those. Um, I think that's all I got at the first jumble sale. And then at the second jumble sale, I noticed these bowls, which are red and white transfer wear, and there are two identical. Um, they've got slight blemishes on them, so I think they must have been seconds at some point. They are Grindley, um, but I picked them up initially because I just love red and white transfer wear and I knew I'm going to keep one of these. So um, one of these is for me and one of them is to resell. And then there were two of these as well and they're both identical. They are Ridgeway, the Shakespeare's Country and this is Welford on Avon. So I grabbed those as well. I thought they were really, really nice. Um, other than that, I spotted this knitting bag, sort of patchwork, but it does look like they've done it so it's reversible. So you could have, have it this way around as well. And I've done well with knitting bags in the past, especially this sort. So I thought that was worth giving a go. I saw these and I loved the color of them. So 
I thought I would try those myself. I haven't tried them on yet. Um, they are a size bigger than I am, but I figured they had an elasticated waist, so maybe that wouldn't matter too much. So I'm gonna try those and yeah, I'll just re-donate them if they don't fit. Um, and then I went through the linen at the second jumble as well and I found a tablecloth which is round and round tablecloths do really well. Now I'm not sure if this is an M&S pattern, I haven't really had it all out to look at it properly but it does look very M&S but I can't see any labels on the, on the napkins so little bit more research into that I think but I got the round tablecloth and a set of napkins to go with it. Um, then this looked like it was round as well the way it was all folded up and curves on the edges so let's see if we can open it up and have a look yeah it's sort of a, a heavy, thick material, but yeah, it's a, a round, round tablecloth. It looks also like it could have been reversible at one point, but it has a burn mark, just noticed, on this side. It hasn't gone through on this side, but it does look slightly discoloured, doesn't it? So I'll have a think about what I'm going to do with that and whether... Whether I do sell that on or not, I don't know. It's very difficult when you're buying linen at um, a jumble because, you know, you can't really pull everything out and look at it. You know, if I, if I see a noticeable stain or flaw in it, I, I don't grab it. Otherwise, I'll just take a chance on it. But this looks really nice. This is a square vintage tablecloth with beautiful lace trimming on the edges and apart from a couple of tiny little marks it's really nice so yeah gave that one a go I did see the mark on this and there's probably more oh yeah there's one here i thought i would give that a go treating it because i really liked the color and i thought maybe i could use that for myself um because you can always put a runner on can't you or you know cover it up with table dressing etc but i loved the color on that i thought that was really cheerful I liked the scallop edging, so I thought that was worth giving a go and seeing if I could get the stains out at all. And then the very last thing I got was this green table runner. Which, yeah, again is marked. <laughs> I've only just noticed that. Um, but it's the colour of our kitchen and our dining room, so I bought this really to try for ourselves. So again, I will give it a go, trying to get the stains out. Otherwise, when you're using it for yourself, just cover it up with um, different plates and candles and table dressings, etc. Okay, so that was everything that I picked up. As I say, just a small haul, but that's all I needed really. <laughs> I didn't need to buy anything, but I didn't need to buy a lot. Let's put it that way. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did. And um, if you like this kind of video and you're not subscribed already, then please think about subscribing. Um, yeah, we've got lots more jumbles to go to. We've got a couple at the weekend as well. But until then, take care everyone. I'll see you very soon. Bye.